This is just a short message to let my regular viewers know that in my search for quality to improve the videos on my YouTube channel, I have switched from Power Director to Camtasia. In the last video that I put up just a few minutes ago, which was the only one that I have on the channel made with Camtasia, my face was a little blurred because I was too close to the camera. You will notice that in some points where I move too close to the camera, the face becomes blurred. And in the background, my synthesizer is always in clean and clear focus. As long as the uh, depth of field is such, my face hopefully is going to be completely clear. You will be able to see every hair in my beard. And um, this is thanks not only to an excellent video camera, but it is also because of the Camtasia. Now let me explain something about the Power Director program. The Power Director is extremely popular because it's one of the fastest rendering programs that you can possibly buy. And first and secondly, it comes with all sorts of balloons and extra content, animations, stuff that does. It's just loaded with additional content. Um, that people can make catchy and creative videos with. Whereas the Camtasia is a bit bland by comparison. You get not, none of that extra um, fluff, um, balloons and all kinds of stuff. The Camtasia video um, making software on the other hand so has some very neat and fast editing features that are easier to access particularly if you're making content for education. Uh, I was advised to buy it by another um, university lecturer. However, when I started to use it, I wasn't able with the learning curve and I was accustomed to using the Power Director. But having um, actually taken the time and trouble to um, get to know it a little better, I realized that I might not even bother to go back to the power director. There's some benefits to the Camtasia and there's some drawbacks. First of all, the Camtasia is going to take an awfully long time to render. People are complaining about the rendering time. You can just Google it. It's a known fact with the Camtasia. Um, rendering is very time consuming and processor intensive. I have been rendering my Camtasia videos because I have made a couple experimental ones before the one I actually did just now and uh, it takes uh, I have an i7 machine with an SSD hard drive that normally is blisteringly fast at installing software and the Windows comes on in a matter of seconds where it takes longer on most people's computers but this is the latest i7 with SSD running at a good speed and even Windows 10 there's no delay when booting up or when logging in and I have the pro version logging into multiple accounts so what I would say is that even on this machine um, you can hear the, the um, the fan come on to maximum power and when you look at the performance monitor you see that your CPU is, is running nearly a hundred percent it's really working to do that rendering and it takes probably about a half an hour to an hour for most people this is crazy stuff uh, particularly if we've been using Power Director and you're accustomed to it rendering your YouTube videos in what 10-15 minutes at the most so you're not really going to feel very good about that while the TechSmith consumes all your computer resources for the next hour or two just to make a half an hour YouTube video or something like that. But the quality is phenomenal when compared with the Power Director. And I think that as I go on making videos, you're going to see a great improvement in um, the quality of these videos. Uh, for example, the last video that I uploaded, the one there with my uh, gospel message, was about a half an hour long and uh, actually the up 
the YouTube upload was nearly 5 gigabytes for that half an hour of video which is ridiculous compared to the video size uh, file size that I've been using and uh, basically there's nothing you can do about that because the, the Camtasia I was not doing any special um, problem I was shot the video at the same uh, frame size and frame rate in editing you use the same thing so I didn't even have to transcode my video from uh, say one size to another or from one frame rate to another and yet it still took that long time but the quality is quite fantastic even though the file size is large and the time is great by compared to the power director now the other advantage of the uh, Camtasia uh, and the power director is that with the Camtasia you make a one-off purchase and if you're happy with the features and with the program you never have to upgrade again and they allow you to put it on more than one computer and uh, therefore particularly uh, for those persons that feel like they want to own software uh, this would be the way to go in the case of the power director now they have gone to this power director 365 similar to the Windows 365 office and therefore you're continually paying uh, a monthly well it's a monthly or yearly uh, subscription forevermore but they're, um, they're going to upgrade the software and add additional more content so that is um, useful um, I guess if you're trying to do um, promotional advertising or something where you need all these additional um, things that they're giving you but a lot of them you're not going to use realize that they're going to give you a lot of bonus content that is absolutely going to be useless for what you do or for what you want to do um, I was quite happy with the way Power Director was, I would just say, I would just select the YouTube option, Power Director would render it for YouTube and upload it to YouTube and everything would be done uh, until it stopped working and then I understand that um, YouTube had changed their security and tightened up, tightened down on it so uh, both my Doseri and my Power Director um, cease to be able to upload to YouTube. It gives you problems when you try to do that, it just don't work so you had to then start creating a file and manually uploading it to YouTube and uh, well tell us what you do if you if you are a YouTuber tell us how you do it but the thing about it is I decided it wasn't a bad idea you don't want too many apps having access to your YouTube anyway and the other disadvantage that I found was the naming of your file um, does have a bearing on the um, the YouTube algorithm, uh, the algorithm that promotes your videos does look at the file name that you upload and when you upload for any of these programs that automatically upload to YouTube they're going to give a generic file name they're not going to allow you to pick a nice file name that would relate to your video the automatic upload feature doesn't do that it just gives you like um, I guess uh, uh, I forget what it is but it would be like upload 64 or something like that it, or, or just uh, video 64 it doesn't actually name the title of your file with anything that would relate to the content of the so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video